Lab. Hello there, Hallie here. It's great having you in the lab again. Today we're going to learn about two different types of mixtures and have fun with some experiments along the way. Here I've got some salt, sand, sugar and oil. Let's start by investigating what happens when we mix salt and water. Now let's give it a stir. Can you see what's happening? The salt crystals are dissolving in the water. Let's keep stirring until the salt crystals are dissolved. Great! The salt crystals have dissolved and we can no longer see them in the water. This type of mixture is called a solution. Now let's see what happens when we mix sand and water. The sand looks fairly similar to the salt, but I'm not sure that it'll dissolve. Let's find out. Now let's mix it. What do you notice about the sand? Does it dissolve like the salt did? That's right! The sand did not dissolve like the salt did. It's being suspended in the water. This type of mixture is called a suspension. Now let's try adding the sugar to the water. What do you think will happen? This might take a while. Just like the salt, the sugar crystals have dissolved. Looks like we've made ourselves a solution. Finally, let's see what happens when we mix cooking oil and water. Let's stir it. What do you notice about the way that the oil and water are mixing? Great observation! The water and oil didn't mix at all. Instead, the oil is floating on top of the water. We call this special type of mixture an immiscible. Immiscibles occur when two liquids do not dissolve in each other, so they're not forming a solution. So there you have it. By trying out these different mixtures, you've learnt about solutions, suspensions and immiscibles. And the best part about this experiment is that you can try it at home. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new today. I'll see you again soon in the Lighthouse Lab. Thank you.